So, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. So, uh, in between recordings, I have... And nothing really changed, but you can look at my tap bar and see that there's new uh, abilities there. So I'm going to be doing Palace of Dead with both Pictomancer and Viper to show you how they now play. They are both either at or near level 60. And also, yes, I died three times here and two times here. Actually, I didn't really die as Pictomancer. I had to leave the game twice because I had things going on. I got landmined as Viper and it was unfair. <laughs> it's bound to happen, but yeah, I'm okay. I'm not going past 450. So let's do these last 10 floors and I'll show you how Viper flows. At the moment, I am really liking the feeling of Viper. It's all about the speed, keeping your buffs up, keeping this debuff right here on an enemy to keep your damage up. Let me turn the game down just a tad bit. It's a bit loud. There we go. All right, let's do this. All right, I usually open like that, and then I'm going to do the gash. And then you want to just keep combining. As you can see, you combine, and then your blades change, changing the way your combo goes. And honestly, I really like the way this class feels. It is fast, and you are constantly attacking. So basically, I want to keep my weapon... The one I mostly care about is the weapon skill. The damage one is nice and all, but weapon skill's my baby. Alright, get over here. Alright, bloodbath. <laughs> So this right here, when you do a full combo, becomes an ability you can cast. And it's really good, honestly. Look at that death rattle. And then it turns your blades all fused together. Oh. But if you do anything, like a ranged attack or another attack or even a dash forward, it ruins the, uh, I'll show you. I'll, it, it ruins the way it does. There you go. So watch this. I now have this. I'm gonna throw my weapon, and this goes away. You have to do it when you get it. Alright, I'm officially level 60, and I got light through tomorrow. Man, look at this. Ooh. Alright, where's Viper's Maw? Oh, it's down here. Is it? Yeah, Last Slash. Oh, is it a trait? Viper's Maw. Allows the execution of Last Slash, which is okay. Uh, can only be actually okay. I can't put on my hot bar, meaning. Are you here? Last Slash. Oh, it's a AOE? Oh! I would keep going, but I'm level 60. There's really no use to killing extra enemies, and I'm not gonna continue past 450. Now, if I had no deaths, I would continue. Personally, I think I gotta turn that down. Just tap it. Do this. Open. And I want weapon skill personally, so I can attack faster. And then we do that. There we go. Oh, we're blind. Damn, that messes things up. Also, I bought a few more sustaining potions, because why not? As you can see, Viper flows fast, and it keeps the damage going. It does not stop, which I kind of like. All right, I'm coming for you. Ooh. <laughs> and that's how I died a few times with Viper. 
In this uh, instance, my god, the landmines are everywhere. Come here. As you can see, I screw up my combo there. Now, honestly, it doesn't do much, but I think it decreases your attack. Alright, my HP is actually getting low. Let's do this. Low blow. There we go. Alright, these floors should hopefully not take too long. I'll try and use these as much as... Actually, yes. I can speed it up. Hmm. I'm gonna show you some pompadours I haven't used yet. I can use one a few times. And since I'm not continuing past 450 with these... Yeah, let's waste them. Let's have some fun. Alright, first things first. Uh, let's get to where enemies are, and I'll show you some really fun things. Alright, I'm mad. Hello, you. Oh, I stepped on Toad, and it had no effect. What a shame. I have a full minute of being a Minotaur. Minotaur instantly kills normal enemies unless knockback is disabled. Because the main thing is Minotaur pushes the enemies into the wall and that's how you kill them. Now, if knockback was disabled, guess what? Useless. Because you have to have knockback for Minotaur to even do his thing. Also, if you want to turn back, you right-click that. But I'm not going to do that until I find my teleporter. Alright, you're done, you're done, and you're done. Here, I'll do it now. Right-click, you turn back to normal. I know that I promised story, don't worry. I'm just doing these to show you what these classes look like when there's more things unlocked than just level one. Or, yeah. Like, look at the combos. When you get going, you get going. Now, Pictomancer, I'm gonna, f I'm gonna tell you ahead. I'm gonna tell you ahead of time. Pictomancer, I would say is a little broken. In the sense of there's an attack a Pictomancer can do, and you can do it up to three times, and the damage it does is outrageously high. I love it, but I know it's too much, and it's probably going to get nerfed in the future. And I'll explain it when I get there. Safety? Yeah, let's do it. Alright. Once again, we're going to pop a rage. I'm mad right now. Arg, And all that. Also, auto healing is disabled. I absolutely hate that, especially if you're just a DPS with no healers or tanks. On top of that, my only sense of heal is uh, Second Wind or Bloodbath. And, well, those heal okay, but not amazing. Goodbye. Let's go. The last boss of this dungeon. Uh, the last boss of this dungeon, I will not be able to use these. So, use them up now. Technically, the only one I'll use if I do use during the boss is the Pompadour Lust, which turns you into Succubus. So what Succubus does is you cast fire, like Void Fire or something like that. And uh, what happens is, I'll just turn myself back to normal. What that does is it puts vulnerability on the enemy and you can do five stacks of vulnerability that last quite a bit. All right, come here, you. Like sweet. I do not want you doing your thing. All right, let me hide against the wall, please. Don't see me. Damn it! So much for that.
Yeah, Viper is very fast. It's all about them buffs. Our items unavailable, which is honestly scary. Because that means I cannot use my sustaining potions. I do have the three Pomodors of Serenity. Maybe I'll pop one. Yeah, I'm gonna just do that now. Beautiful. You know what? I'm gonna pop a flight start in Oh, intuition. Why not? Oh, it's right there. Cute. Yeah, look at all that damage Viper can immediately do. As long as you have your buffs up. There we go. I'll take that. What I mostly do is I when I turn those coffers and items, the cursed horde, I mostly sell it. Because I already have most of the items you get from floor one to fifty. I don't have all of them from floor uh, 50 to 100 because items do change and coffers do get more rare. But I do not have the skill to do that solo, even though I've tried. You're dead. Goodbye. I got some max potion. Now, these potions, I sell them because for my level, they're useless. It restores up to 2,400 points maximum, which yes, at the moment, it looks like it restores quite a bit, but you gotta remember, I am not a level 60, I'm a level 80, and those aren't that great for me. Now, if you do solo out in the world, like, uh, systems and all that, yeah, go ahead, but, eh, not my thing. I mean, not, not, not my thing, but they're not that useful for me. Oh, that is very unfortunate. That is extremely unfortunate. The Nightmare Hellhound's on me, and I am a frog. Listen, do an AoE, a very slow AoE with a comb. You know you want to. No? Okay, fine, you're dead. Ow. I'm gonna pop one, just to be safe. I just bought a bunch, it's fine. Nice knowing you. Come here, you. I want you to free up that. All right, I'm gonna pop this now. We're gonna fly through the next floor. Booyah! Affluence, not worried about it. I'm here to get in and get out, just to show you this. And then I want to show you the difference between this and the Pictomancer, because they are quite different. And I'm not saying because one's a physical and one's a ranged. I'm saying the sense of damage output. You'll be shocked with the differences. Oh, that's not good. That is absolutely not good. All right, it's time for this. Great. And now you're seeing the ranged attacks as they go. So what I just did is I stepped on a, um, what's it called? I stepped on a, uh, basically a trap that spawns a bunch of enemies around you, which is not great. And I used a Pompadour Witching, which transforms all targets into frogs, imps, or chickens, making them basically not 
not uh, not they're still a danger they can still do damage which is why you want to pop bloodbath and use aoe or whatever way to get them killed as fast as possible the gloom spreads no one likes the gloom i'm just gonna go Do this. We're almost to floor 50, which 450 is the first major boss. Believe it or not, Palace of Dead does have a story. It continues off of a dungeon and a series of quests that happened at Robert Warren. I barely remember them, but I do know that. Basically, there's a group of adventurers who you keep running across. The uh, mage of the party is uh, has a crush and I believe is dating the tank of the party to the point where I believe they were going to get married. Then off screen, he dies and she goes into despair and she looks into certain magics to bring him back and goes crazy. Mega crazy to the point she becomes a boss of a dungeon with her teammates except one teammate you gotta save because he's about to get sacrificed become the groom to be it's a very that is off the top of my head barely remembering i think her name's ida one more floor, baby. One more floor. I'm out of here. Wait, I'm mostly doing these 10 floors for each class to show you the difference between them from level 60. And I know they're level 80 when you get them, but I'm showing you what they are at. I, oh, I am immediately popping this. This man needs auto heal. I don't care about fortune because the next floor is a boss. Do this. Immediately popping this to see an enemy coming up. Alright, he's walking by, never mind. I mean, I'm gonna beat you up anyways. Viper just continues flowing. It's great. All right, hold it now. All right, I have to defeat you. Come here. Oh, another one. Oh, okay, we're good. I thought another one spawned, but just that deactivating. Goodbye. All right, boss time. The first major boss of Palace of the Dead at level 60, Viper. I might not be the most familiar with this, but I should be able to do it. Now, say hi to Ida. She is a crazy chick who wants to resurrect her husband. If you're wondering who her husband is, it's, he's actually on her shoulder. All right, Ida, Black Blossom, who, by the way, has a scythe way before Reaper did. Let's do this. Open her. Not gonna pass Bloodbath yet, it's too early. All right, I'll pop it now. But yeah, that's why most of the moves are named off, like, uh, marriage and all that, is she wants to marry him. Wanted to marry him before he died. And he's that thing flying around her. If you look out the face, it's his face. Oh, no, I gotta get out real quick. Alright, back I go. 
you do not want to get hit by her moves because if you get hit by just enough, it's not the damage that will kill you, the sigil right here, all these letters will light up. And then she'll insta-kill you with in uh, sickness and health. Uh oh. Oh no, she'll kill you with black honey. Alright, come on, baby. Look away. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get back. Oh, she's starting to do damage on me. Come on, bloodbath. There we go. Not yet. Now. show you that is his face and well he is now defeated and that's how viper plays quick fast precise keep your buffs up keep on going do not stop destroy your enemy now let me show you what pictomancer can do because oh boy there's a difference between these two. Then again, one's a physical, one's a magical. One is close and one is far. Also, you're gonna like my outfit. I'm very proud of it. I am wearing the Ivelisse. Astrologer. It's, no, it's not Astrologer. It's a, uh, what is it again? It's a, uh, the, 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 the Oracle set. Personally, I like this way more. So now we're gonna roll and get to level 50. Get the floor 50 with Pictomancer, and now I'll show you what these can do. And I'm sorry if you find this boring. I swear next time I will probably do actual story. This episode, I'm going to start with these, show you what the classes can do, and then I'm going to go and do the story for these classes, because it does have a story. All right, so real quick, I'm going to pop uh, this, pop a little of that, and now let's cast some magic. I'm gonna pop you immediately because I don't trust you. I'm gonna immediately just do that and we're good. So this right here is creature motive. You paint a creature. Usually it's pieces of a moogle, the palm, the wings, or the body. And this will change depending on what that is. And when you see that pom pom there, this guy gets activated when you cast this, the Mog of Ages. Holy cow, is it strong. But that's not the strongest part of this class. That is this right here. A weapon motif. It's always a hammer, I've noticed so far. And, uh... I'm gonna show you what the hammer can do. I need a group of enemies, though. You know this will do. Hey, man, um... Alright, hammer time. Three casts, thousand damage almost each time. Yeah, that is the move I'm saying is kind of busted. The hammer is really cool. I like the animations and everything. But I know for a fact that hammer is slightly overpowered. It needs a be brought down just a tad bit. Listen, it could have two charges. I'd still be fine with it. But that's because I barely have touched any of these classes. They either bring the damage down a bit, or... Watch this. Moogle. Yeah. I don't know. They just need to bring it down just a little bit. Just a little. Also, I've already gotten the level 60 with, um... Man, you're still a little loud, aren't you? I'm gonna just turn you down a bit. You down a little bit. There we go. Um, but yeah, I 
We've gotten to level 60 already with Pictomancer, and then I'm like, oh, I'm almost to 450, and I want to show you what the battle looks like with Pictomancer. So, uh, I already know the ability I'm about to get, and it's very interesting, and I actually quite like it. Let's go. Let's destroy. All right, and goodbye. By the way, oh, here, let me show you. I'll do that. I'll show you with this guy. I noticed this. So you can do the painting in battle. It takes about, what is it? Three seconds. Which, you know what, makes sense. You're in battle and you can't focus. You're gonna have to paint. It's gonna take three seconds of your time. Then I, 59, baby. Then I noticed that um, I use Swift Cast. Swift Cast is absolutely one of the most useful abilities in the game, especially when you are healer. Swift Cast raised. Oh, there's no better combo than Swift Cast and raised. Fight me, but um, there is a thing I learned about uh, Pictomancer, which I think Devs thought of. Allow me to show you. I'm gonna do this. I'm now gonna swift cast paint. Look at these cooldowns. Look how long they take. When when you cast them regularly, look how fast they are. So clearly they're like, okay, if you go in a swift cast and do paintings, because it's instantaneous. But we're gonna slow down the charge times for these right after. So as soon as you swift cast, do a paint, your next skill. The recharge time is going to take a lot longer. But I noticed that. So, use that wisely, because downtime like that can be dangerous and savages and stuff, because you want to keep doing damage. Dead. I'm not using the hammer on you, nah, go away. I'll take it, why not? Oh, you interrupted me. Paint. Alright, well, uh... Hammer time, I guess. Look how strong this hammer is. You get three charges. And on top of that, it's an AoE with 60% less damage in an AoE. But still, it's an AoE single target weapon. Look at that. It is a lot. Yeah, Pictomancer. Ow. You know, I'm just gonna walk away before I step on something else. Also, I might as well pop this. Okay, and I'm not gonna pop that yet. No, 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 it's fine. Okay. Hey, buddy. Bam. The, uh... Oh, you're not dead. I thought you were dead. There we go. Bam. I... Pictomancer is a really fun class. But I can already see areas where this class next patch might be adjusted. Especially with this hammer. And... We're almost at level 60, where then you get a ability, which then gives you this, which I'll show you when we get there when I get, I think, three more kills. Commodore Witching, do not need. Okay, well, let's go. I'm feeling risky. Why not? Goodbye. Pop the shield on me. Paint. We're almost at level 60. Also, with that one, you have two charges. Oh, there we go. Level 60. We now have the Blizzard in Cyan. Thunder and Magenta, and so on, so on. All right, give me a second. Oh, you guys want to go? Okay. There we go. 
The hammer is all. All right, here we go. I'm gonna show you what this can do, but I have to get this to 50. All right, we're at 50. I'll show you in the next enemy. Nightmare foe. All right. So right here, I have subtractive pallets. Grants three stacks. It's a subtractive pallet. What that does is, I cast it, can no longer cast my regular magics. But here, I have Blizzard and Cyan. Now, the cast time for these three spells are longer than these, but the potency is so much more. Say hello to Blizzard, say hello to the Stone in Yellow, and say hello to Thunder and Magenta. Oh, yeah. Those deal damage. That is your damage combo. But you need the pallets, which you need 50 of, to do so. Oh, wait. Watch again. Slower recharge. You have to wait. Alright. Time to go. I'm level 60. I don't need to keep doing this. Next floor, I'm gonna pop a sight, then I'm gonna pop a safety, then I'm gonna pop a sight and a safety. No need to save them, I'm not gonna continue. The only reason why I'm not gonna continue is you wanna get deathless. Because there are floors past 100. I think it goes to 200. But to go past floor 100, you have to be deathless. You cannot have died once. Da, 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 da. Goodbye. But yeah. Pictomancer. Oh man, it dishes out damage. Now you see what I mean. This is a lot different than, uh, Viper. Viper gets in, buffs himself, and just keeps going. But Pictomancer has a lot of chances to just murder your face. With the hammer, with the cyans, the magentas, and the yellows. Especially your buddy. Oh, you can't cast the hammer, by the way, out of battle. You have to be in battle. Then you can cast it. Oh yeah, let me cast this, just in case. Alright, not on this floor. I think these floors for Pictomancer should go faster than, um... Viper, because Viper deals a lot more damage. I noticed the, um, Pictomancer is very, um... Immediately popping... Oh, well, Haste is nice, but not dealing with that right now. Pictomancer is very, um... It dishes out damage. I know this Pictomancer is squishy. Very squishy. Like, if you're not careful, you will get caught off guard and die. That's a me thing. Pictomancer probably is mostly fine, but I know they are squishy for the most part. Goodbye. Like I said, I like it. Some of the things that's happening here right now. On top of that, the animations for Pictomancer are absolutely lovely. Like, look at this. I'm about to do, I'm gonna zoom in. Get an angle. We got the wings, and then you got the Moogle coming out, doing a beam. Like, that is very unique. And what, it, it's just, oh. All right, you know, I wasn't doing enough damage before. Let's just do more. Hey, buddy. Goodbye. Yeah, I thought so. No chance. Mm. There we go. Goodbye. I have an idea. Do that. 
Yeah, that's a good way of doing it. Eh, physical attack, please. Thank you. Yeah, that's enough. Perfect. But yeah, I'm, I know I'm playing Viper and Pictomancer not well, but you gotta remember, these are new classes. I have not messed with them before. And at the moment, I like how both of them feel. I personally do. But I can only play MSQ with one class. And I'm saying one class in the sense of I am not going to be changing classes back and forth while I'm in the main story. Alright, we got a problem here. Oh, you know what? Hammer time! Look at that! Look at this madness! But I, I w was in trouble. Hammer cleared it all out. Like, listen, let's all agree to disagree. If you think the hammer shouldn't need a nerf, fine. But I personally think the hammer needs adjusting. Oof. Also, the, there is an AoE version of that it is over here. Because I'm trying to keep AoE over here and single target over here. I was trying to keep them over here because right now, I don't think I've talked about this. This is buttons on my mouse. One, two, three, four, and such and such. I have like a circle wheel inside my mouse and these are my buttons. But I honestly couldn't make any of these really work over here because right now I'm happy with what's over here. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this over here the way it is. You got the shield, you got the motifs, pop them whenever you can. And you got the striking muse, the track the palette, and the smudge. Every class I have will have abilities over here. Look at that damage, beautiful. Also now I gotta remember, I popped the damage, uh, Pomodor. And I'm doing more damage than I usually would. Now let's do this. Look at those AoE spells. They're pretty. Goodbye. That's how you do that. Let me just get that ready. It does have a minute cooldown. They could... Uh, mm. One thing I, th I could think of is they can make the cooldown this longer. They can take away a charge or lower the potency. A few ideas of how they can adjust it a bit. Where do you want to go? Didn't you just see what I did with your buddy? Goodbye. I think first we'll do the Viper story, and then we'll do the Pictomancer. I'll do them both in probably this part, and then after that, I don't know. I instantly killed that dragon, I wasn't expecting him. Wait, before I go any further. Alright, we're good. Do this. And I noticed this, and this is actually really great. Usually when you pop abilities, you have a cooldown timer and it's like, you gotta do this in this amount of time or the ability goes away. When you pop subtractive palette, there is no timer, which I'm very happy about because if you pop it and no enemies are there, it's not going anywhere, which I'm very, very happy about. There it is. I'm gone. Smudge. I gotta use Smudge more. I will be using Smudge quite a bit during Ida. 
especially with some of her abilities. But we'll see a difference between what Viper did and what Pictomancer's gonna do. I got a feeling Pictomancer's is gonna be killing it twice as fast. Ooh, absolutely hate what this floor looks like. Be a shame if somebody would, uh... Goodbye! Yeah! And that... How that happens. Pop you, pop you, and we're all good. Um, no, we'll do a subtractive palette on you. I, I can get out of there. That way is not the way I want to go. Got one more minute of that. I'll repop him before I get to the boss. But yeah, I think the boss is going to die easily within two minutes. No. Oh, I stopped casting it too late. I was like, oh, that's not where I want to go. All right, there we go. My guess is she will die in two minutes or less. Oh, I got rages. What am I doing? I'm gonna clear out this room real quick. Hey guys, you all gotta go. Just so I can get out of here. By the boss. Completely forgot I had those. I can also use a Lust immediately on Ida, lower her defense by five stacks, and then Pictomancer her face off. But, since I didn't use Lust on her with Viper, I will not use Lust on her with Pictomancer. Fortune. Eh. Alright, we're just gonna use Sight. And you wanna let me use Safety also? I'm also gonna use an Intuition. All right, there's absolutely nothing here for me, but your dooms. All right, let's do this. Oh, wow. They're stacked here, aren't they? Hey, guys, I just want to get to the boss. You know how it is. Pretty sure people are getting sick and watch me do POTD. Everyone has to go. Hey, Persona. Got me. I got to play gold one day. Persona 5 gold. All right, you're the last one. Everything is ready. I'm gonna pop a strength. Pop a steel. Gonna pull my weapon out just to look cool. And now I'm gonna go say hi to Eden. And we will see how much faster this is gonna be. I'm immediately gonna go in. I'm gonna immediately pop magenta. Subtract the palette. Open that up. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna open up with you. You can come to me, I'm not coming to you. And now I'm gonna immediately switch cast, do that, use this, and now I'm gonna use you, hammer. <laughs> and then, right now, during this period of downtime, paint. Much. Uh oh, uh, that is not good. I'm not gonna make it in time. I mean, I did not make it. And now you see on the ground, a sigil is lit. You light all the sigils, you're screwed, kiddo. Alright, let's get all. Oh. Gonna paint. Alright, come on, don't make me a liar so I can beat you in two minutes. Let's do this. Nope, I'm out of here. Oh, I messed up. My bad. I 
That's what I want. Let's do this. Paint. You're dead. Goodbye. I don't know if that was two minutes, but that was definitely faster than Viper, I gotta say. But yeah, that is the big difference between Pictomancer and Viper. The two new classes of this expansion. And this is just the level 60 version. Not the level 80 or 90 or 100. They can only go up to 60 here. Which is a shame. And then Heaven on High skips 60 to 70, goes right to 70, which is annoying because I like to test every level as I go to build. And there's 10 levels where I cannot do that, which is 60 to 70. Those 10 levels are non existent for these type of dungeons. Which is a shame. It really is. I, oh, I could wear my Crypt Lurker gear with you and a few other things. Oh, yeah, uh. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? There we go. What? So you wear basic, uh... Yeah, okay, so Pictomancer wears anything spellcaster related. Viper, on the other hand, I think I got rid of all the gear of the other classes. You wear... Really? Ranger? Archer? Oh, wait, Rogue is there too. I was confused for a second. I'm like, what? I know I said I was going to do a, a Viper first, but Pictomancer is a little more of my favorite, so we'll do that one. And that way, I won't be able to do the quest all the way until I'm level 90, won't I? Yeah, luckily I got the uh, earrings. So we'll do one and two on each one. And then I guess off screen I'll level them up or I can actually just continue with the story or I can choose one of these classes to continue with. Boop. Boop. And I got beyond there's another motif I don't have. Let me check. Yes, landscape, which I'm not sure where to put you. You see, this is why I, I'm upset you can't go 60 to 70. Then again, not much is different between 60 and 70 except the landscape. Which then, um, honestly, I might have to remove you, which put the umbrella away. Thank you. I'll put you here for now, because then landscape goes there. Which then, that happens. Holy and white. Cool, I'll put you there for now. And I will grab you and put you here. I don't know what you do. I think that's all the abilities so far. Yeah, hammer stamp, blizzard, blizzard, attractive, landscape, landscape, holium, wait. Comet and black. Dark prism, realm. Yep, 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 yep. Hello, Kufo. Kupapo believes an apology is an order. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a break here. As you can see, it's getting a bit late for me. But, I will continue off here, so I'll see you in a second. I'm back. So, uh, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna let you know a decision I am making. So yeah, find over manor. Koopapo believes an apology is in order. Very nice. <clears throat> it's a little early for me. Very nice. Now you're literally now you literally embody the soul of Pictomancer, Koopo. While a Pictomancer's brush may look like a big paintbrush, it is in fact stylized variety a variety of staff. You said that said, you're probably wondering why we don't just use stabs. But simply, it's much easier to bring your imagination to life through the medium art. Magic brushes and ink allow Pictomancer to express abstract thoughts in a deliberate manner, Kubo. As I mentioned, though, it is ultimately your imagination that matters the most. For what wisdom of Pictomancer is passed at your disposal? 
You already possess the artistic skills you require. Now, as much as I would love for you to get painting right away, there's something else we must do first. We must go to Nof Nofix Altar and apologize to the hearer you mentioned. And by we, I mean me. Off we go, Kubo. So, the decision I made is, as much as I would love to play one of these two new classes in the DLC, the expansion, one, I, I have to level them up to level 10, and usually that takes a while for me. And two, I know everyone's going to be playing these two classes, because they're going to be the new hot thing at the moment. So, I'm probably either going to play... No one wants to see a, a healer play, probably. I want to do Gunbreaker. Because for two expansions in a row, I've made the... False promise <laughs> uh, to myself that I would play Gunbreaker. I would main tank finally. Or I can go back like my good old days of when Stormblood came out and main my tank. Uh, my, uh, my was going to be a tank, but ended up being a DPS Skull Samurai. Which, uh, I fixed its glamour. It looks exactly like a like. But one of the two. Of course, with healer doing my roulettes and keeping that leveled up. The love of all ele elementals. No more complaints. Oh, I beg your pardon, adventurer. That Moogle there. Is that perhaps... Indeed, I'm the one who caused you so much trouble. It was my intention to do so, and I've come to beg for forgiveness, Kubo. Oh, I see. As you appear to be genuinely remorseful, all I ask for you is to refrain from aggressive solicitations henceforth. Agreed? You have my word, Kubo. Now that I've found a capable pictomancer, my soliciting days are over. I can't believe to hear that. With that matter, so let me turn my attention to another situation. Uh oh, and what might that situation be? Distressing noises coming from an empty manor in Gentry's ward. Fiends are believed to be haunting the cellar, and their nightly clamors keeping the surrounded residents awake. Fiends, you say? Bader here will deal with them, Kubo. Well, I didn't agree to this. Remember, it is the spear of the Pictomancer to lend a helping hand to shine the light of hope for all those in need. This is a welcome opportunity to put those new found skills to test. Rest assured, I'll be there to offer sage advice every wing flap of the way. Okay. You offered of it? The offer of aid is kind indeed, and I accept it with thanks. The Gentry's Ward is situated just past Ap Apkala, Apkala, Apkala Falls. Proceed when you're uh, proceed there when you're ready. Like I said, my pronunciation in this game is not the best, especially with some of the words. Oh boy, the words. Are we ready? And are we ready? Aren't we? <laughs> and ready we are, aren't we, Bader? Let the Pictomancy training begin, Kubo. Well, I spent a good two and a half to three hours in Pals the Dead. You have learned all Pictomancer actions up to level 80. The detailed descriptions, blah, 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 blah. I already did my thing there. But yeah, I'm going to um, do the main, the one quest I can do with these, and I'll come back later. It's just the main story everyone's going to be doing by now, and as much as I'd love to play these classes, like I said, everyone's going to be playing them. Heck, you should have saw when, um... Uh, when, uh, Gunbreaker dropped in Shadowbringers, it was the one time I remember where it was flooded with tanks. Then Sage, we actually finally have abundance of heal- oh, hi. I don't- okay, let me see. Do I- is there anything here I could get? No, you need to, you need to add new things to this. 
Yeah, there's nothing I want. They give you the tokens for achievements and never add anything to that store, ever. But yeah, as much as Viper and Pictomancer would be fun to play, everyone's gonna be playing them. I mean, everyone. And this is gonna be the only quest I can do until I'm like probably level 82. Usually these go every two levels. So this quest will be on hold until... Oh, I forgot to read that. Oh well, I'm ready to paint up the storm. Excellent, time to clear out the manor Koopo. Item sync is uh, uh, so level sync is 80, item sync is 525. Which luckily I'm uh oh 377. Oh, this could be interesting. Here we are, Koopo, a sense monsters looking below. But before we charge in, let me do uh expound upon the fundamentals of Pictomancy. Yeah, I think I got a little gist of it. You must first paint Otif of a canvas, only then can you bring it to life. Try making a palm motif. Don't be shy. So that'll be this button right here. Well done. Now unleash it upon your foes. You mean the targeting dummy? Focus your magics on the striking dummy and summon your palm muse. What is the voice I'm using for this Moogle? I don't know. Thumbs away! Splendid work, Koopo. Now give your now give me your best wing motif. Motif. It's motif. Why am I saying motif? Alright, here you go. Wing motif. Very good, Koopo. You, now you may invoke your winged muse against our friend the striking dummy. Which now gives me Mog of Ages. With palms of wings fresh in your mind, I want you to imagine what these muses could accomplish together. By fusing them, you give life to the fantastical Mugo, Kubo. So I can throw you at the targeting dummy. Think big, magnificent thoughts and ambition your new friend, Mog of the Ages. Excellent work. Excellent, Kubo. He may not be as winesome as yours truly, but he will serve you well enough. Aside for your Moogle, a hammer stamp is an excellent alternative to pummeling foes. Alright, let me get it ready. But if, you're, but if you wish to provide support, I recommend inspiring your allies with a starry muse. Better stop dreaming up those motifs, Kubo. Your allies will thank you, and your enemies won't know what hit them. I'll take it'll take some getting used to uh used to, so feel free to experiment, Kubo. I'll be here when you're ready. Okay. Let's hammer. Your striking muse looks like quite the clobber, Kubo. Very impressive. Alright, now let's do this. What's that do? Damage increased. Actually, what's it? I'll have to read it next time I actually can do it. Okay. Now I'm gonna cast this. Oh yeah, I can do holy and white. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh. Pretty indeed. I think I got it. Oh, wait. Alright, what do you do? Starry Muse. Render a star streaming sky over a magic landscape. Increases damage by 5%. Hmm. Okay. All set, Koopo? And it's time we silence that noise. Yeah, there are some things down there.
The infestation is worse than I expected. We should clear these ones out first. Let's make a lesson of it. By casting spells on of different hues, your palette will begin strengthening aether. With a sufficiently saturated palette, you may avail yourself to the subtractive palette's increased might. Yep, yep, yep. I know how that works. I've used it a bit. All right, we'll use it on them first. Let's do this. Running. You're a natural destructive palette, Koopo. It seems you scared off the stragglers as well. Let's head in fur further in. What is happening in there? Oh, it's you. That's an obnox obnoxious noisemaker, Koopo. Very. Since you've grasped the basics, I'll leave you to your pictomancy. Show me that springin' what for. I'll do my best. No promises. Let's get the hammer. There we go. Yeah, I think I have the basics down. Excellent Pictomancer from the first. Uh, did you really, though? Uh, of course I did. Moogle's honor. In any case, with those clamorous fiends gone for good, the residents can rest easy once more. Oh, come, let's quit this place. The dampness doesn't grow to my fur. This will be the end of the Pixelmancer quest for a bit. 
Allow me to congratulate you on a successful first outing, Bader. The Pictomancers of Eld would be proud. Though you may yet be a novice of the art, as a veteran or adventurer, you've grasped the fundamentals quickly. As well, you should, Kupo. Archon Realm didn't urge her disciples to roam the star for their own amusement, you know. She wished for them to intimately understand the wider world, to journey to lands unknown and savor every discovery, to revel in sensations, emotions, and yes, even da in danger. For those, these experiences enrich the palette of the imagination, making one's pictomancy all the more vibrant, Kupo. You... You are returned. I began to worry and came to see whether all was well. There, I hope you've dealt with the fiends. Wonderful, wonderful. This all outstanding matters of concern have been addressed, and all like and like the residents of Gentry's ward, I too may sleep soundly once more. You both have my heartfelt gratitude. May the matron keep you wherever so you should go. You see how happy we made him? This is the power of Pictomancy. this that's the power Pictomancy was meant for you. And this is only the beginning. As part of your training, you and I shall travel near and far, searching for those in need, just like Archon Realm once did. But you mustn't forget our promise either. Before we take the road, I'd like to see if the locals know anything about my friend. In the meantime, I bid you... I bid you dedicate yourself to owning your skills, Kubo. I'll do my best, but it might be a while till we talk again. Let me guess, 82? Yep, the, no, 83. Okay. Alright, well, Koopapo, I'll level these up in my dailies, but for now, we'll do Viper's Quest. Which has a slightly higher equipment level, mostly because of the accessories I forgot to get rid of. But yeah. Also, I'm curious, what e glamour set can I put on you? Oh, literally my ninja set. There we go, now I look cool. With that pose, I look like a JoJo character. All right, let's teleport. We'll do Viper's first quest, and then um, maybe I'll end this one here. I don't know how I'm doing this, I really don't. I'm just mostly winging as I go. Oh, that's a cute sage outfit you made yourself. The Weaver's Guild. Oh, no, he moved. Venture's Guild? Uh, I'm gonna go to the Weaver's Guild. I'm pretty sure he's over there. <laughs> ah, yeah, he is here. Okay. Fangs of the Viper. Keshikawa, Keshikawa wonders if you have what it takes to master the arts of the Viper. Well, you sure looked apart, but do you feel anything from the Soul Crystal? I knew it. Sounds like you got what it takes to be a Viper, but the only way to know is uh, for sure is to put the them new skills to the test. For that, we'll need prey. Right here, you adventurers have got your own guild, so I'm guessing the folks there will know the best spots for hunting. Let's go see what they can tell us. All right. Where are we going? Ah, things of light. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, with Pictomancer, I put all my actions up to level 80 on my hop bar. These ones I didn't. Oh dear, and there's a quite a few here. I have to put on my hot bar. Changes when executions are okay, uh one second. I got you, I got Slither, I got Serpent's Tail, it's right there where it belongs. I don't have Dreadwinder. Oh wait. 
Yeah, I don't have Dreadwinder. For now, I'm just going to put it here, because I don't know where to put it. Hunter's Coil. Oh. Hmm. Which shares with this, the Pit of Dread. Okay, so that's a single target. I rather... Okay, okay, I'm swapping some things. There we go. I rather have the single target rather than that there. Uh, Hunter's Den. Oh wait, did I? Oh, there's two of these now. Oh no, let me remove. Well, that's three. That's two. My ranged. One's my regular. Four's my dash forward. All right, so we have you. We do we have Hunter's Coil? Yes, it's right there. Do we have Swiss Skin? No. Then we have Pit of Dread right there. We'll put Hunter's Den temporarily there. I have Move Blood, Bath, um, Swift, Twin Fang. I'll put here. And there's a lot of moves. Um, Hunter, Twin Fang, and Twin Blood. Okay. We'll see how this works. It's a mess, I know, but I have yet to mess with these abilities. Yeah. Knowledgeable adventurer. If you're after deadly prayers, try Spineless Basin. Lately, there's been sightings of a heretofore, heretofore unknown species. Those that saw anything that moves, including travelers. What's worse, they work in packs. Even the adventurers hired to call them ended up being a sickly end. All right. Oh, he's talking to the befuddled boy. I already said I don't know anything about beasties. Where are you anyway? Hey, man. Don't want to leave the kid alone? Got to leave already, hmm? Maybe there's something to this whole asking around thing after all. Critters not from around these parts, you say. Either they got chased out of their usual habitats, or they were brung here. Either way, that's bad news for folks, unfortunate enough to cross paths with them. The hunting of Terrell Vidar is the Viper's most important duty. That doesn't mean we turn a blind eye to lesser threats. Next stop, Spineless Basin. He is so confused. <laughs> Alright. We're here. Let's do this. These here ventures ran to a whole gaggle of fiends were after. They got pretty roughed up, but I saw their salt to their wounds already. Don't you worry. Before we go say hello to the troublemakers, I reckon I'll teach you the Viper's dual blades. Our techniques were created for the sole purpose of killing Tyrell Vidral. Most of them are meaner varieties of things you might encounter in the wild, often with special powers to boot. To stand a chance against these powerful enemies, our ancestors looked to the vipers for inspiration, always twisting and turning to find the perfect angle of attack to take down their bigger prey. Two blades, for the twin fangs of a viper, to wield in tandem and strike with precision. They can also be combined with a single weapon that weaves and sways like a body of a snake. By switching these between these stances, the viper has the capacity to adapt to any situation. Now. The prey we're after today ain't nowhere near as fearsome as a Turl Vidral. But they'll give you a chance to test out your new skills. Let me know when you're ready. Alright. Let's do it. Let's see what my abilities do that I can't practice with. Ah, uh, okay. If, the, if there are any meaner beasties, they must be biding their time. Ah, oh, I see. Here is fodder. Though, for practicing your new skills, you'll do fine. I'll stay out of your way and give you a few pointers. Let me 
know when you're ready. All right. Let's start with the basics. There are two stances, Dual Fang and Viper. Dual Fang means wielding the two blades separately. Start by uh, using either Steel Fang or Dread Fang. Just press attack. Finish the sequence, switch back to Viper, and with Death Rattle. After using a Dual Fang weapon skill, Steel Fang... Oh, is that thing I've been doing? Okay. Let's do this. And then you do this, and then you put the fangs together with Death Rattle. Not bad at all. These techniques are the most important tools in your kit. Come on over here, and I'll tell you about attacking from Dual Fang Stance. Alright. Time for the practice your Dual Fang techniques. Start with an opener, follow up by second, and then pick one of the four finishers. Flank Sting Strike, Flank Span Strike, or hind, hind Sting Strike. Or Heinz Bane Fang. Uh, as you can tell by the names, each finisher works best from a certain position. But don't worry about that for now, just give him a try. Okay. Looks like you got the hang of dual fang stance. Uh oh. That roar just now. Almost like it was telling him to clear out. I reckon there would be a big old bastard waiting in the wings. And now it's sent us tougher off his opposition. Oh, fawning with... Okay. Luckily for you, I, I got just the thing of dealing with these Lomaxes. Like them. I'll tell you all about when you're ready. Alright, now for Viper Stance, where you combine your two blades into one and deliver powerful strikes. Perfect for tough opponents. Open with Dreadwinder, then transition to either Twin Fang Bite or Twin Blood Bite from Dual Fang Stance. Okay. Do you want me to open with... This. No, wait, sorry. This. Okay. Here might work, but I'm going to have to move these. Oh, that roaring is getting closer. Boss beast must be pissed that its minions keep getting beat. Yep. All right, let me just move a few things over. Haha, <laughs> there he is. Oh, damn it. Okay, I was about to adjust a little more of the hot bar, but that can wait. <laughs> okay, well, okay. <sighs> oh, these are both single target. Some things around. Still, you got the tools. Okay. Alright, you got the hangar viper, I'd say. That roaring's getting closer. Okay, time to take down take it down pack or two or three. Just remember what you've been dealing with here. It ain't no pushover like the rest. Still you got the tools you need at your disposal. Show them what a viper can do. Roger Dodger. Open. Okay, this is working for me. This is working. Oh, 
Unrelenting attacks are the key. Don't give in your prey a chance to fight back. Yep. I'm doing just that, man. This is feeling right now. Goodbye. Yeah. Okay, I was getting the hang of it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Those were just the basics, but your execution was mighty impressive. Since you've proven you won't be a liability, let me sh tell you something about Toral Vigil while we're up against. I'm curious what these are. We call it... Ixoc... Oh, Ixoc... Xamjun. It's an offshoot of Brand of Brax, a deadly jungle predator. After seeing a series of mutations, this one's grown huge wings. Worse yet, it's smart as a whip and has a mean streak of malm wide. After learning of the beast, me and my most promising students set off to slay it. Facing it head on seemed like suicide, so we laid in ambush. Almost worked, too. Almost. We thought we had subdued it, subdued, had subdued, and made our approach to deliver the killing blow. But we underestimate the feed and its cunning nature. We got close it lashed out lightning quick before taking to the skies. Cradled my brother in my arms as he breathed his last. Revenge is all I've been able to think about ever since. I traveled the length and breadth of Turo looking for the beast, with nothing to show for it but half a dozen pairs of ruined boots. With each passing day, I grow more and more desperate. That was until I met some folk who crossed the, crossed the salt on a trade ship from Ulda. I claimed they seen a huge winged creature flying eastwards over the ocean. Knowing how clever the Ixok Zamjun is, I reckon it's gone in search of new hunting grounds, somewhere that would establish threat like us vipers. So I bought passage on a ship, and here I am. Little did I know, Yorzia would be damn near as big as Turl. Fish out of water, and I'm not afraid to admit it. Or that I'm gonna need help. All the help I can get. That's where you come in. With you by my side, I might just stand a chance of avenging my fallen comrade. What do you say? Count me in. That means a lot. Let's get out to Ulda and see if we can't find some clues about the Ixok Zumji. Where's about? Ugh. Let's go. I wonder, can I... You can execute that by itself, but then that gives you... Alright, I'm gonna try this. Okay. Oh, and then five is a sweeping attack. There we go. Alright, so these are AoEs. Yeah. We'll try and keep everything like that, move you over there temporarily. Let's move some things down, because right now this looks like a mess. Try and keep it a little organized. Alright. I could take this off. I'm not going to be doing that again. Alright, thank you, level 4 enemies, for being my test with that.
So the AoE versions are the when the blades put together, the Viper stance. Okay. No, is it? Yeah. All right, Kashikawa, I'm back. I won't be talking to you again probably for a while, but I will come back and finish your quest one day. As you saw at the Weavers Guild, trying up folks ain't my strong suit. Happy to take the lead, I'm happy to follow, at least for now. Think you could ask uh, the locals if they spot any more strange creatures flying around? As for me, I'll study your technique, see if I can't brush up my social graces and whatnot. All right, he's gonna accompany me. Oh, yeah, I know how these work. Please, game. I know. Hey, Rand, how you been? Flying beast? Uh, yes, of late, we have sightings of a such creature. More and more each day. We're looking into it ourselves, but there's been no report of attack. Nor can I provide a more, uh, a more detailed description. Such, I can't say if it's the same one you're after. Alright, so uh, once in a while, this is a kind of new thing from a few expansions. I believe it started in Shadowbringers? Don't quote me on that. There are times when a NPC is going to follow you. These are optional dialogue choices you don't have to do, but they're optional. But let's do it. Discuss the hunt. Yes, well, I was on the ship here. I heard about this hunt your local company seemed to be running. We got a system like that back in Turl too, mainly for dealing with the Turl Vigil. Naturally, the bulk of the work was handled by the Vipers, handled by the Vipers. But ever since the Dawn Servant came to pop, Dawn Servant came to power, the scope has been expanded to cover a wider range of threats. These days, pretty much anyone can take jobs. There's no shortage of them all over. There's no shortage of them all over. If you're ever in Turl, maybe you ought to give it a try. Okay. I'm going to take the glasses off for now. It doesn't really fit the aesthetic of Viper. Hello, buddy. Discuss the crowds. A lot of people here. We got cities uh, of our own back in Turl, but this is something else. You know, to become a Viper, traditionally you gotta live in this remote village in the mountains, where you can learn all about the habits of various beasts. Ain't much else to do there, so anytime you got to yourself, you're expected to spend honing your skills. Once training's done, you're free to roam where you please. There ain't many Turl Vidral that need hunting. They can spring up pretty much anywhere in Turl. So much, so many say it's good to keep on the move. Me though, I choose to stick around even after I finish my training. Gave me a chance to work on my swordsmanship. Instead of going out looking for work, folks came straight to us asking for help. That's how I got complicit and fell into the habit of letting my elders and students do all the talking and negotiating with outsiders. Even with my passage here, I was arranged by an acquaintance. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dilita. What? what a wing creature? Ah, uh, well, I've only heard the rumors. They say it has a dozen faces, ringed with red, wriggling tentacles, and shoots beams of light out from its eyes. Uh, of course, if it's... It's all too common for those with more money to sense that... Uh, to bring in bizarre species from distant lands. And the trouble with the rumors is that they grow even more fanciful, fanciful with each retelling. Yeah, you were telling I don't think matches what we're looking for. Well, damned if I know how you did it. But you and your silver tongue got useful information out, folk. Even if none of it amounted to a solid lead, the knowledge of the Ik Sok Zamjun hasn't kicked up proper fuss yet is a clue all in itself. I reckon it's taking its time to get a lie on the land, having only just arrived here. Alright, now I've seen a master at work, I'm gonna try and my hand at talking to the locals. The best way to learn is by doing.
Couldn't agree more. Besides, I face meaner foes than a few tight-lipped city folk. And if I make a fool of myself, so what? I just ask someone else. And it just so happens I bought with me a whole bunch of herbs and knickknacks from back home that I can sell to keep myself fed. It might take a while to find any solid leads, but at least I can get by for the time being. I like this song that's playing in the background right now. It's actually quite nice. Uh, who are you? Well, it's definitely a chick. So those are the ones who slew my pets into lovers on the hunt for my next darling prize. Lord, do they know it's lost interest in Thalin. <laughs> this is fine. It's fickle nature may yet bring us greater delights. Hmm. I'll be doing my damnedest to get more information. Might take a while, though. So come see me later. And don't forget to practice your Viper techniques. Thank you. Let's play at 83. Yep, 83. Alright. I'm officially done with Viper and Pictomancer. But doesn't mean I can't do some dailies. <laughs> Ah, okay, so you've seen Ulda and you've seen Grindia. You have yet to see the other place. We call it Weeb Town. For reasons. Welcome to Limsa Laminsa. Right now it's raining a little bit, but it doesn't hurt. Got my umbrella. So if you're wondering, um, between patches, we usually get these tombstones, which are not the regular ones you get. Oh, I mean, I have to turn these in. Whoops, whoops, still gotta do that. So let me just go through currency. Poetics is your common regular currency for equipment, armor, weapons, you name it. But this is not for the current expansions, really, but it's for past patches. So when a new patch comes out and these are taken out, the armor that used to take these will go to these. And every single patch up to now will be using these, which are easiest to get. Tombstone of his aesthetics are brand new for this expansion, and you can only get by being level 100 and doing your dailies and other events, but you can... And then these are my old tombstones from the last patch, from the last expansion. At the end of it, I have to convert them. These are PvP, you'll never see me do them. And these are hunts, they each sack of nuts and all that. And then you got fates, which you doing some fates and locations will give you by color gemstones, but only starting from Shadowbringers. We got people dancing over there. But yeah, this guy here will give you different tome stones that have nothing to do with this. I threw the rest of mine now. I only had like three. They're gone now. Basically, you want to exchange irregular tombstones. And all of these, you could. I never bought the earrings. I don't care for earrings. But you can't get these anymore. You get mounts, you get orchestra rules, minions. I never got the cheerful checker parasol. Oh well. And if you're wondering, it takes a while to grind. Not really. As long as you do your dailies, you're fine. And then you have the Magapedium, which... Well, if you do these, you have rewards. Deep Dungeon, if you get the floor 100, it will give you 50 immediately. So on, so on. Fishing fates and all that. And now another thing in the game is... At the moment, I might have these... Azma's earrings, which increase my uh, XP I'm going to be earning by 30% because I'm under level 90. But it doesn't mean I can't boost that a little bit more. In this game, if you eat food, which I have a bunch of just basic foods because I'm not going to waste money on good foods for leveling. Uh, antelope steak is personally for DPS and stuff, which will raise my skill speed, vitality, and crit hit. And my XP is increased by 3%. So, I'm gonna do this first quest as a... Because I'm number 9 in queue right now, so it's, I'm not gonna be waiting too long. 
I'm gonna do it as Viper, see if I can get a feel of it. This is a normal raid, which are... I can't do... Uh, I definitely not do you. Uh, I don't think my item level is up to par to do these. Also, it's not normal raid. These are normal raids, you dumb dumb. No, those are trial. I'm being stupid right now. Oh. We got Bard playing a harp. Hmm, very nice. Oh! Aha, take on me. As soon as I heard those few beats, I'm like, ah, I know this song. Very nice. So over here, you have your Deputy Post Moogle, which has a series of quests for you. I can get the Mini Mole if I do Thwack a Mole. I'll do it later, not now. That's an entire quest line. But yeah, personally, I like to hang out at New... Oh, wait, actually, let me show you. Let me take you to Razanda. This was the location of where you can get your armor and relic weapons for Endwalker. And this is the uh, city you'll be hanging around the most. I also got a mender, and I got to mend a couple things. Might as well do it now. A couple, you know... Yeah, let's start just mending a bunch of my things. There we go, that's better. So let me show you. So here, you got your tombstone exchange, which is armor. Oh, they added uh, the item level next to it. That's actually quite helpful. So, um, oh, you don't, oh, you can just buy these now. You don't need the uh, special tombstone. Because uh, to get the special tombstone, you gotta farm the last part of the raid four times. They get the uh, unsung sword, turn that into a tombstone. All right, so this is the armor. I already have these, I believe. <laughs> but yeah, I can show you some of this. I believe the Lancer set and the Reaper set for this actually looks quite good. <laughs> But yeah, I can actually just buy this set and play with it. But yeah, let me show you the raid gear that you can get. So this is, uh, the raid was Pandemonium in the expansion, and also Agla, Epforcine, and Thalia. And then you have all of these, which, yeah. Turn that gear into here. Oh, they took... Ah, they shrunk that bit, which is nice, because this was a mess. It was a big list before. Now they actually shrunk it down, which is nice. I'm still number six in Q. That's a painter. And now we're going to go see some shirtless men. So this expansion's relic weapons weren't really too hard. Also, nice sword. This is where you make your uh, relic weapons this expansion at the Manderville Artisans. I can make one for this class. This quest is not, okay, let me see. No, okay. These weapons do not have the relic items here. Okay, shame, but makes sense. They're new, why would they add them? But, I still have yet to make my relic weapon for, what was it, what class, let me see. I have yet to make my relic weapon for a god dancer, got you, I bard, I don't have bards, I don't have white mages, or scholars. I finished reapers, I finished samurais, I haven't done ninjas, or monks, and they're not leveled up yet. There's a few relic weapons I've made. 
personally, that's level three Dark Knight sword. I like that one more than the level four. The level four one's fine. I can show you real quick while I'm in queue. Mm -hmm. I can't show. Oh, never mind. Not showing you. Not what I meant. Easy with that clicking me. All right, let's see what I can do with Viper. Thank you. Ah, oh, Alexander. Look at all the Vipers and the Pictomancers and everybody. And we're done there. Up we go. The Alexander's head. Pop a faint, why not? So this Alexander one, I know how it goes. Hopefully the tanks do. Worst comes to worst, I'll aggro it. Oh, I'm bad. What am I doing there? I'm doing the one thing you should never do, stand next to the tank. Right now, it's just a mess in a flurry. Actually, uh, while we're doing that, I'm actually gonna do something. I hate to do it. I love animations, but that was a bit much for me. So we're gonna do system. I actually will do it after. Okay, so with this, you see around there are bodies on the ground, robotic bodies. You wanna do your best to get them to go in the molten lava beneath them, the molten metal. Because every time he picks them up, it's gonna buck for sure. Sorry, so he has one arm. Alright, I'll do this. Let's deal with it. I'm not gonna wait here for someone else to do it. I absolutely hate this one if it gets too powerful. And honestly, I don't do too much damage, I'll live. Well, oh, forgot to do my one attack. Just because you see those there doesn't mean you gotta use them. You want to melt them in that so he cannot use them to buff himself. Okay, stockpiles have things. You can't drag them in. They're dead. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you stacking that for? Alright. Bloodbath. Thank you for bringing this here. I appreciate it. The next one I won't be able to do. That one is a tank one. He has to hold it, not me. I won't be able to do it. I'm just doing my part and trying to keep them down. But this next one, it's gonna be a tank one. I, I will die, because it has tank busters. I'm not a tank. I'm a DPS. Scrap line. Alright, here it comes. Yep. 
Alright, this one's a tank one. I will not be able to do it. In the back up. I go forward. And also, you can't keep it in the lava. It will blow up and instantly kill your body. Killed it. I'm gonna wait here. Alright, let's move. Alright, let's bleed it. Don't have to worry about now. Don't want to just go for it. I don't have LB on my hot bar. Whoops, I was gonna LB if I can't. <laughs> Whoops, would help to actually have that. All right, let's give you accommodation. Just randomly do it. What you, yep, there we go, that's that. Now I'm gonna speed queue up a bit. Everyone's playing DPS, maybe some player playing tank, but is anyone playing healer? Also, yeah, let me change something real quick. Nope. Uh, system? Graphics? Display. No. I forget where it is. Alright, let's finish my cues and then I'll probably call this episode. Uh, someone needs... What's this? A cracked prism cluster. Oh, that's new. Now I'm level 90 and my also my armor and all that for my uh, sage is top notch. So I will be accepted in any raid. Also... I go for crit on Sage, because if you crit, you get twice the amount of stacks for shields. And it's really nice. Personally, I like crit on me. So I got crit, spell speed, and piety. piety. I chose those three uh, stats out of all of them, because uh, when you make these, you get to choose your stats. Which, um, I believe if I talk to you, I can adjust them. No, I'm good. But yeah, you can adjust it anytime. Make another? Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> I have the max level. Oh yeah, I forgot, I have this. And it's up the second. Oh wait, when's the second? Oh, in about a couple days. Yeah, I should probably work on this. This is the Wondrous Tales. This is optional, but I recommend doing it because it has some really good XP gain. Um, let me see. Minstrel Bale, Ultima's Bane. Okay, I can solo, solo. I'm gonna need people for that. People, people, people. Me. I don't know how to do Treasure John Dungeons because no one, yeah, but I just work solo. Oh man, Q's actually taking a while. I'm shocked. I expect up oh, there is number two. I would change my food I ate because it's just skill speed and all that for orange juice, which is piety, vitality, and direct hit rate. But personally, uh, I don't care at the moment. If I was doing an actual important thing, I'd probably eat something better than that. But I don't have any good foods on me. This is all the basic stuff for basic just dungeon crawling. Got my raisins, flatbread, anything you could buy from a simple shop at your free company. 
I'm not worrying about the really expensive foods just for a roulette. And then that's my level 90 move. Mm. <laughs> Which, they added this on me. This used to not be here, because you charge this up. Don't ask me to pronounce it, please. And so what happened is, this is your single target heal. Now it becomes a lightly lower single target heal, but then grants shields. But then you have also, a, this is why I want crit, you have a chance of doubling those shields, and it is amazing. Then you have the group one, which is the same. The regular version is a group heal, the upgraded version barriers. And then this one turns into a dot, then a single target damage. This one looks like it's now a wee dot, which honestly is gonna make my life a whole lot easier. Oh, that's actually a really nice animation. Let me check my actions to make sure I have everything because it looks like they changed a couple things on me. Yeah, I have Panhama, uh, Falunga, Crassus, Toxicon. All right, so I'm gonna get Psych next. Oh, another damage spell, finally. Oh, my hotbar is full though. I'm gonna have to find a place to put that. And then fill a so oh, you go away, you. Okay, oh, okay. So that is gonna get upgraded, okay. Right, I'm gonna find a place for that. And then you might think these abilities aren't that useful. Trust me, this doubles the potency of your, well, not doubles, it increases the potency of your next healing spell by 50%. Usually I combo that with either this or if we're absolutely desperate for a group heal, this. And then what you want to do is, uh, I call this Pepsi, it's Pepsis. Uh, it will, you want to do this, use the AoE shields, and then just as you cast that, cast pepsis you immediately remove those shields turn in the healing very nice and then this just gives you a charge of these which honestly i use a lot because they're very useful it's my main heal oh did they decrease the amount it restores for your mp i don't think they did i don't remember seeing that there though that's the weird thing hmm. now they actually per percentage there Okay, who's going crazy with the equipping? Oh, you. Easy there, kiddo. This I will pop on tanks. It does what you think. It pops a shield on a tank, and each stack slowly it, it will heal a. <coughs> uh, basically, after a, the effect duration, it will heal the target for how many stacks are left. Okay, people, stop leaving. Come on. I'm trying to do stuff. Uh, this is a group version of that. Oh. Uh, we're finally in a uh, raid. This will be the last thing I probably do this video. I'm just, you know, talking and showing you things. Ah, uh, it's the Crystal Tower. Uh, this is gonna be a quick one. This is the first raid you unlock in the game. Da, 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 da. Let's see, we got a white mage, dragoon, bard, and uh, two pictomancers and a viper. But yeah, this is what I mean. As much as I would love to play viper and pictomancer, I can play them in future content. Because everyone's going to be playing them right now, which is going to make DPS... It's going to make DPS uh, cues for everything increase immensely. Like, you saw me in queue for a little bit with, uh, my, um... You saw me in queue for a bit with, uh, my Viper. But I have... It will get a lot longer in the future, trust me. So, yeah. I'm gonna make the call and say, as much as I'm very interested, and I actually kinda like how they both play, I'm gonna hold off, play them later. They're also gonna get nerfed in the future or changed. They're two new classes. Everyone's gonna be playing it. They're gonna be looking at the stats and everything. I'd rather be playing a different class. So I'm either gonna play DPS Samurai. I don't really wanna play Healer for the MSQ. Or I'm gonna play Gunbreaker and finally bite the bullet and do it. All right. It's about to become a mess. 
gonna pop this right now. Nope. Nope. Stay up, you. I refuse to have you die. My tank. You dying will put bad. Oh, I got you. There we go. I took names off everybody until battles, mostly to, you know, I might take names off the other people, uh, but I want names on my party members at least. I don't want them clogging the screen because look at that mess right there. Oh yeah. I can do that right now actually because they're dealing with that just fine. You guys keep doing that. Yeah. Party members during battle, only when targeted. There you go. That cleans it up a bit. I want to see my party members while in battle, but I can click them here, and that's usually how I click them and heal them. Then I'll just click the alliance members if they absolutely need a raise, because there are times when a full alliance is down and you have to take your time resing the entire group. It's happened, especially in Ivalice, when you go against Thunder King. Uh. <sighs> Thunder King, uh. Blah, 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 blah. No, it's Thunder God, not Thunder King, you fool. Thunder King, Thunder God Sid. Ooh, nice scythe. Yeah, luckily this raid isn't too long. Everyone knows what they're doing, everything's behaving. This is basically the first raid you unlock in the game. This is the second version. The first version of the Crystal Tower. The, no, wait, no. This is the first version. The Labyrinth of the Ancients is the first version of the Crystal Tower. Then it's the Crystal Tower. And then it's the Realm of Darkness. I'll pop this for now. So this boss, uh, it has a gimmick. Uh... To get the gimmick, you kind of have to kill the boss. Take disease off you. Alright, here comes the gimmick. You see those skeletons running everywhere? You have to kill them before they get to the boss. Or they do a big AoE attack that hurts. Like so. Oh, they kill. Oh, never mind. They're killing it before I can show you. Alright. That's a, that's a crit right there. That pop dual double shields. Oh, I love it when that happens. Which is why with Sage, I want crit. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Wait, I'm almost dead. What's going on? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. So, there was supposed to be a tank in the other alliance doing their thing and keeping the ads busy until the boss dies. They didn't exactly do that, and now this is problematic. Alright. Nope, he respawned. Okay. Oh, that sucked. Absolutely sucked. Usually I never die. But usually another tank from another alliance is usually trying to keep those off everybody. And I hate to say, if you're a healer, even if you don't attack, you will gain the aggro. Now, what do you look like? I mean, you're fine. Eh. Alright, I'm alliance A. I want to stay on the left side. But yeah, that's the uh, thing about healers, is even when you don't attack, uh, healing gains a lot of aggro. And what happens is, if you do not want to... Ah, uh, see, we're all children, and they have to put those up today. Ah, uh, well. Because um, each one you want to go A, B, or C, alliance, you want to stick with your alliance, and then we need four people on pad to take the shields down on the colored osmoses. So this one's going to take the middle one down, they're going to take uh, that one down, and that one down. Alright, I'm going to wait here. They all go ahead. One of you guys can go.
Yep, we have four people. Each alliance needs four. Oh, someone's not behaving there. If you're wondering why I'm not helping, it's because they're slightly out of reach. You can't do anything. All right. All right, B. Okay, so yeah, each one has their individual color. B keeps getting off their pad, damn it. Which hurts C, because then they can't attack theirs. There. All right, here we go. Okay, ours is dead, but we have to stay on pad because it's still glowing. There we go. Now they killed it. We're good. Now we wait until theirs is dead, but people keep getting off their pad on B. There we go. You have to stay on pad to remove the shield for an ally. And if you don't, they do have a, wi a raid wipe. Never seen it, but I know they have it. All right, um... For this fight, it's a bit different. Uh, Thanatos, uh... I have to wait. Each individual alliance group is gonna become... And we're gonna get this status, which you have to have it to hurt the enemy. You... The problem is, is now, we're attacking the enemy, but ads are gonna spawn attacking all these, uh magic pots and what happens is the other groups are now going to want to protect the magic pot oh am i being attacked okay we're good i'm gonna just do that but yeah sandmans are gonna go they're gonna attack it meanwhile nemesises are doing their thing uh guys please help me Yeah, they are being mean today, aren't they? They increased the aggro gain for healer, because, man, that was the second time I got aggro. Uh-oh. I got you, Bard. Don't worry. All right, and we're done. Now for the third fight, which is going to be a arena surrounded by lava with three lizard man and a bomb. Sounds exactly how I explained it. The lava arena. Uh, arena surrounded by lava with three lizard man. One there, one there, one there, and a triangle formation with a bomb in the middle. You cannot attack the bomb at the beginning. The bomb is invulnerable before they are protecting it. You want to attack your corresponding lizard man for lines A, left, C, right, B, up middle. And then while you're attacking the lizard man, keep your party up if you're a healer, and if you're a tank, keep the lizard man on you. And then, while you're fighting, bombs are gonna spawn. One type of bomb is just gonna attack your allies. The other type of bomb is gonna slowly go towards the bomb in the middle, uh, exploding and buffing that bomb, making it closer to self-destruct. That is thy bomb. Also, you can do something in the lava. It's called... Uh, where are you? You know, I can't find out. Where is it? Uh, uh, where are- Oh, damn, it's called Splash, but I couldn't show it. Alright, we need our tank to get aggro. You don't- the farther away, the better. Alright, I'm gonna pop you. Stay away from the enemy unless you have to be up- Well, okay, see that balloon? That balloon does not go towards that one. This one is more or less just attacking our allies. Alright, it's dead. The other balloon that's about to spawn now- the napalm, that is gonna buff the Allegan bomb. You wanna immediately destroy that or it'll do a very decent amount of AoE on the entire raid. Dual shields, baby. All right, ours is almost dead. There, everyone's is almost dead. We're good. And I wanna get the Allegan balloon, okay. And then the main boss of this section. Perfect, now we can attack the bomb. The bomb is the easy part if you do the raid correctly. Because it can't do anything, because it doesn't have enough uh, charge to actually explode. All right, now here comes the final boss of this section before the final, final boss. The King Behemoth. 
If you ever fought Behemoth in the Final Fantasy before, I think you know what's about to happen. It uses big, uh, sweeping strikes, does a lot of damage, except there's a few things that are different. For this... The floors are electrified, doing constant damage. You can't turn them off, but no one ever does, because we can tank this quite easily. So with this, you're wondering what those symbols are. If they're meteors dropping. There's a reason why. Now, King Behemoth is gonna class a meteor. I'd recommend hiding behind a rock or you will die instantly. There are no if, ands, or buts. Especially with this raid. Oh, that sucks. The Iron Giant broke the rock. Alright, he's alive. I'm gonna hide. Yeah, these have health, and the Iron Giants will destroy them. You have to get rid of the Iron Giants. There we go. And King Behemoth's dead. Now it's time for the final boss. If you're wondering why the screen goes black like that, cutscenes play. But because I already viewed the cutscenes, there's an option you can put on saying skip cutscenes. And now the floor opens up, you jump down, and you go into the basement of the Crystal Tower, taking out the boss. Give me a second, my brother, I've been texted. Yes, I am up, because we're about to go to the gym. Uh, like every other part, people mark them, but you want A, B, and C. Oh, well, okay, they're already pulling, never mind. The thing about this boss is, do as much damage as possible. When he walks purposely, you don't want to be there. You don't want to be there. Okay, so this is gonna be a problem, and I think we're gonna wipe, and I'll tell you why when it happens, don't worry. Yeah, I think uh, this is gonna be a wipe. Unless you wanna prove me wrong. Not yet. Alright. Iron Claw grabs an ally, let's break them out. For their DPS is important. Right, here it comes. Danger bongos. Oh, it's too soon. Come back. Alright, we live. They die. Oh no, you poor, poor soul. So that ancient flare, you have to bring these shields off. Your party members, I think you need most of them, not all of them, on the pads, as you saw, because the one died right there. And they'll bring up the shield, because ancient flare hurts. It insta-kills everyone and everything in its path. Alright. I'm destroying the ancient claws. The iron claws are gonna call them. There we go. And they one cycled them. Nice. Yeah, usually that goes very, very, very like smoothly. I don't need any of this armor. This is very classic Final Fantasy armor, but I don't really need it. Uh, you, for, for my purposes, if I go for the armor, it's not going to be for equipment, it's going to be for glamour, which is my glamour dresser, which you've seen already. But yeah, I'm gonna end this one here. Uh, next time when I start, I'm gonna choose either to be a samurai, which, let me show you my actual glamour. I fixed it. Where are you? Uh, that's my tank I wanted to run. Where are you? Samurai, come on, I fixed your glamour. Ah, oh, there you are. This is the glamour I usually run with, uh, my samurai. I really like the armor set and what it is. I have the eye patch and all that going. I have this armor is very sick. My awesome sweet pyros blade that I've made in Eureka, which was really one of the last things I did hardcore. One of the only things also. I also have the armor set, especially for tanks. But I'm either gonna do it as samurai or I'm gonna attempt to do this as gunbreaker, which I have up and ready with my hot bar. Actually, before I say that. Okay, I think it. Uh, oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. 
What class was I when I made this? I don't remember. Probably a summoner. Let me see. Okay, so all my abilities are basically the same. Just rough drive became trajectory, which doesn't do damage now. I don't do damage anymore. The trajectory became... Uh, son okay, so yeah. This doesn't do damage anymore. It just goes in, though. So I want to try. Try to do this as tank. And honestly, pretty decent outfit, I do say so myself. I'm very happy with how it looks. Um, of course, with the gun... Oh yeah, look at that gun blade. I have Squall's gun blade too, not lying. So with Gunbreaker, if I do do it, I will show you its moves next time. I also am going to change my mounts because... Yeah, as much as I love the UFO I got from Final Fantasy VIII, uh, I'll pass on that. What mount says, hey man, I'm a tank. I could do bird. Firebird. Or I could just do dog. Um. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. You know what? We will do firebird. Yeah, I'm gonna end this one here. Um, I'm sorry if this episode was a bunch of nothing. It's mostly me just, you know, at the beginning showing you what Pictomancer Viper can do at level 60, which is showing you what they can do uh, at the moment, but they can do more in the future. Showing you some roulettes as a healer and one as a Viper, and now telling you, hey, I would love to play those, but right now they're hot, 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 and people are playing them like crazy. So I'm gonna play my things, even though I would love to play them. So yeah, I'm gonna see you next time. Will either be this or this. Which, man, I love this outfit. I'm so glad I got it. But yeah, uh, until next time, I'll. S oh no, they removed my Showa. Oh, I'm sorry. Give me a second. What did they do to you? Actions unassignable. What do you can? Okay, action. Tendo, tendo, tendo. What did they replace you with if they removed you? Is there anything new I'm noticing? N no? I might be blind, but I'm not noticing anything. Oh! Oh, my third eye became this? That's new. I kid you not, Tengetsu is new. It, I don't, it was third eye. The new animation and everything too. I'm not crazy, am I? That, they changed that. Because it was third eye for the longest bloody time, which reduces the attack of the next, the damage of the next attack by like 10 or 5%. Oh, that does stuff now. Okay, so originally this was called Third Eye. Third Eye would, I love how I said I'm done, but then this is happening. Wait, Third Eye would reduce the attack of the next hits by 10%. This is new, Tengetsu. It was not their last expansion I would have remembered because I leveled this puppy up. It reduces the attack, but then it grants foresight Increases my Kenki gauge by 10, but also restores HP when the effect expires. How much HP, HP do you heal? Would help if I was damaged, and also I think I need to get hit, but still. What? They changed that. Everything else looks the same for the most part. But yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, gonna have to get start getting ready for the gym. And also, sadly, it's Sunday, so I got work tomorrow and all that. Luckily, 4th of July is going up. I don't know how I'm going to upload these or when. Because these first two episodes are going to be a mess. It's me finding my footing in this game. But I'm not sure how I'm going to be... I, 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 I know how I'm doing it now. I'm doing the MSQ. But as what class, we'll find out. Until then, I'll see you next time.
And, well, for me, good morning and goodbye.